Hi folks, uh, my name is Lawrence. I'm, uh, I'm the open mic component for tonight. Part of what uh, down, uh, Small Wooden Platform is trying to do with this event is create an acoustic cafe where people can come up and may have never played public and come up and play a new song or whatever, as Craig said. So uh, I've been doing open mic over in Texas for the last number of years. And I've had the fortune of playing a Texas cowboy bar beside an old railroad track. The train goes by and screeches and uh, people drink beer and chicken fried chicken and shout at the top of their voices. So, so you learn to get their attention. And I usually play a lot of secular songs. You've got to play songs that people know. And I usually scatter that with a, a smattering of my own songs and most of my Christian songs. So I'm just going to do two or three songs tonight. Um, I hope you enjoy this evening. I hope you, you know, if you get any musical inclinations, you'll feel encouraged to come up here and so we, had a, we had a lot of people, I was, I was telling people we had a little 15 year old girl come up and nervously got in front and played her guitar like this, nervous as anything. She's now cutting her second album at Nashville and uh, it's a great way of bringing people on so I hope we can keep going and have more musicians come up. Uh, I'm going to do two or three songs tonight, a couple of my own songs and, and one of someone else's, hopefully you'll recognise it. Um, this first song's called, I just, I've got a sheet here because I just wrote this this week. It's actually called When Jesus Comes. And I, I read a book years ago, I think it's out of print. It was called The Divine Romance. I'd recommend it if anyone can ever find it. My friend gave me a loan of it. And it was a fantastic book that just changed your whole perspective and the nature of the relationship with God. And the, the sheer persistency of God's love and how he woos us and draws us to himself. And what the end times are about when we talk about the... Uh, the wedding, the son and the bride. So I wrote this song, it's called When Jesus Comes. And I have a surprise guest. I'm going to join me in a Cajun. This is totally unrehearsed, which is the nature of over mic. So welcome Craig on his, his box here, his Cajun drum. Everyone can come to the table The wedding of the sun When Jesus comes When Jesus comes After all these years Could it really, really be The time has come our children see dreams and visions And there's a red moon blocking the sun To some of all fears for some The hope of years for those who are known Yet it's still not too late to turn Return to the Father through the Son Beautiful bride Who could conceive of such beauty Radiant and white The church in all her glory Jesus the author of her story After all these years could it really, really be the time has come? Our children see dreams and visions And there's a red moon blocking the sun It's the sum of all fears for some The hope of years for those who are known Yet it's still not too late to turn Return to the Father through the Son His beautiful Son Everyone can come to the table The wedding of the Son When Jesus comes When Jesus comes Jesus comes when 
Jesus comes. So that was a new song with my new glasses. Oh, I just got those a couple of months ago. Man, I can't get used to them. So uh, I play a lot of secular songs. When you're playing cowboy bars, you really got to play a lot of Neil Young and Bob Dylan and James Taylor and Bruce Springsteen and some country and western, all kinds of things. Uh, and I was, uh, I was reading a book called Red Moon Rising. Some of you might have read it. It's about a 24-hour prayer movement that swept the world a few years back. And in there, the, the author, he describes, talking about end times, and he describes... Um, how the harvest moon is God's logo for the wedding of the sun. And so when we look up and see the harvest moon, we should remember end time, we should remember what it means. It means that Jesus is coming. It means it will be united with Jesus and it will we'll have a tremendous relationship with him. So uh, when I read that, I was actually thinking about the uh, an old Neil Young song called Harvest Moon. So uh, I, hear, uh, I hear God in every kind of song. So this is an old song, this one. And this is a waltz. So if anybody actually wants to go up and waltz, feel free. Children sleeping, we could dream this night away. But there's a full moon rising, let's go out and feel its light. The music's playing Let's go dancing in the night Cause I'm still in love with you I want to see you dance again Because I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon When we were strangers, I watched you from afar. When we were lovers, I loved you with all my heart. Now it's getting late And the moon is rising high I want to celebrate See it shining in your eyes Cause I'm still in love with you I want to see you dance again Because I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon
Cause I'm still in love with you I won't see you dance again Cause I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon Thanks, Bill. Quick change of harmonica. You get a full set of these things. Everyone thinks it's a cheap instrument. They're about 40 pounds each and a full set's 12 harmonicas. So you're going to be a harmonica player. It gets, gets pretty expensive pretty fast. This uh, last song's a song I wrote. It's a song called Jabez. It used to be called Jabez, but when I went to the States, it became Jabez. I don't know why. And uh, if I read the Bible, this. Uh, Second Chronicles, chapter 4, verse 10. Chronicles is the part of the Bible where you see all the genealogy of the tribes of Israel. And it goes in, Hepos begot such and such and such and such begot. And it goes on and on and on for chapter after chapter after chapter. And then you come to verse 10 in chapter 4. It sort of takes a different turn. It simply says, Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother bore him in pain. And she called him Jabez, which means pain. Uh, and Jabez cried out to God and prayed, O Lord, bless me indeed. Father, increase my boundaries. Lord, lay your hand upon me and keep me from evil that I may cause no pain. And in the Middle East in those days, when people gave their child a name, they invested in them all their expectations of their character and their hopes and their life. I guess as a lot of us have had to overcome that kind of negative expectation that people have of us. So uh, I took this prayer up, oh, a long time ago. And uh, I wrote this song because it very much reflects my life. So this is autobiographical, and uh, I have a lot in common with you, Bez, so I uh, hope you enjoy yeah. this. and time where I was born I grew up and I grew for long such a small place so few chances working in those fields or working in those factories childhood friendships that I knew there was little good example and no one grew seldom encouraged there were few heroes mostly hoping in a bottle some even hoping in the needle and I prayed that I lead the place I stand am I a beast of burden or am I a man There's so much to do and so little time I'm working for a living but I'm living for a lie and I pray oh Lord bless me indeed Father, increase my boundaries. Lord, lay your hand on me. Keep me from evil that I may cause no pain. 
and the person that I had become there was so little promise and so little done such a small faith so few expectations but by God's grace I will be a blessing and I pray Thanks, folks. Thanks to Craig. They're pretty good winging it.